I want to invite you all early to our gala, May 8th, 2017. Unfortunately, it's sold out. Just um, because we are going to uh, honor the award, Academy Award winning actor you may have heard of called um, Robert De Niro. Oh. And he'll be receiving the 45th uh, Chaplain Award. Of course, it's a great privilege on our part to honor a fellow New Yorker. The evening will celebrate all the facets of his remarkable 40 plus year career in cinema, including his amazing array of performances, which, as you would all agree, have resulted in some of the most memorable characters committed to film. Um, and his status as an unparalleled figure of New York film and New York culture generally. And of course, his championing of independent film and film more broadly through the Tribeca Film Festival and the Tribeca Film Institute. So mark your calendars, May 8th, 2017, Robert De Niro, of course, he's beloved by many, so the, the, um, uh, the people joining to celebrate him should be quite extraordinary. So I tell you that now so you can plan way ahead. I want to thank all of you, most importantly, our audience, for being so supportive during this festival. I think you're going to love tonight's big 35 millimeter film. It's an old school Hollywood epic in many ways. I have not seen it, but I've been told by many people. So Ken is going to come talk about it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, we'll see you next year. Thank you. You forgot my name. That's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm secure. Um, I mean, as a person. Um, you know, I just want to begin by um, with a round of thanks because um, it's been a great film festival. So I want to thank you, the audience, for making it great. Um, because it's you know <clears throat> there are a lot of it's it's great to um, show movies, but you have to show them to people, and it's it, you've been a great responsive audience. Uh, I want to thank Leslie Kleinberg and Eugene Hernandez. They're great partners. Um, it's great to work with them. I also want to thank the staff of the Film Society of Lincoln Center and the staff of the New York Film Festival. Um, there's an overlap um, in many cases, and I want to say it's just I'm uniformly across the board proud to work with each and every one of them. It's been a great experience once again. So please give them a round of applause. Um, and that also extends to the security staff, to Chief Sheldon and his team, they're amazing, and to Lewis, who's still the best dressed security guard I've ever seen. Um, Dan mentioned the selection committee, but I'd also like to thank them. Amy Tobin, uh, Dennis Lim, Flora Samozini, um, and um, I also want to thank our consultant, Gavin Smith. And um, I want to give, it takes a lot of people to make a film festival run, but I really want to um, give a special thanks to Gabby Madsen. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of time describing the film that you're about to see, because that would be fruitless. You need to experience it. And plus, some films don't bear description easily. Um, we talked about this movie for a long time about the possibility of doing this. When it finally came to fruition, I was absolutely thrilled. Uh, the film, as you're going to see it tonight, is going to be projected on 35 millimeter, and I can't tell you how rare that is. <clears throat> and doubly so, because it's a film that was shot on 35 so beautifully, but also it's the work of a great filmmaker. And I'm very, very pleased to have him here uh, at the closing night of the New York Film Festival, with the world premiere of this extraordinary movie, The Lost City of Z. Please welcome James Gray. Hello. This film is about three hours and no, I'm kidding. Two hours and twenty minutes. So it is long. So I'll keep this as short as possible. Uh, for the nine of you who have actually seen the movie The Graduate, I remember <laughs> this moment where Dustin Hoffman is waiting for Anne Bancroft to come to his hotel, to the hotel room. And he's walking around and he's going, <laughs> out of stress. And I remember seeing the film thinking, what a load of crap that is. And then I'm backstage just now and I'm going, and I'm hearing Ken talk and I'm going, <laughs> and I'm realizing I really need to get out more because that's accurate. Um, let me try and uh, 
what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to introduce talent first? Is that what's happening? I got a lot of people here, like everybody ever showed up for the movie, uh, except for the lead actor, so explain that one. Um, he, the lead actor, who's wonderful, his name is Charlie Hunnam, he is in uh, Montenegro shooting a movie, and they're shooting even on weekends, and we were trying to get him here and all that, but it, beca it became a, a catastrophe. So uh, we couldn't get him here, but he wanted to be here, and he sent us a message. Can we watch that now? Are we, are we ready? Am I, am I supposed to do like 15,000 producers for us or no? I think we introduced the actor first. That's what we did. Here we go. Hey, this is Charlie. I just wanted to send a quick message to say I hope you all have a great time tonight. I hope you love the movie. We're all very, very proud of it. Um, James, I love you. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I would have done anything to be there with you tonight, but uh, I am in Montenegro. You can see the ocean back there. Um, we're working all this weekend, so it was completely impossible. We tried, but it would have cost one million dollars for me to be there. And although I would have paid a million dollars, Actually, when it came down to it, I wouldn't. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the film. Like I said, we are all very, very proud of it, and uh, hope you all have a great night. Um, I'm going to introduce the cast, if I can. Uh, one at a time, I guess. Edward Ashley, where are you? Edward Ashley plays Manu. Yeah. Angus McFadden, who's fabulous, is Mr. Murray, Tom Holland, Sienna Miller, and Robert Pattinson. Thank you, ladies, I know that was for me. Uh, the writer is here, I think, David Gran, of the writer who wrote the book from the New Yorker excerpt, which is so great. There he is, there he is. Back. And like everybody on the planet from the movie came, I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. I got Dalius Kanji, the great cinematographer. John Axelrod and Lee Haugen, who cut the picture, and the editors, great. Christopher Spellman, who did the music. Uh, we got Randall Poster and Charles Miller, a musical and production for the, Oh my God, I, I really, really, okay. And then I got uh, the great people from Plan B, who, without whom uh, this movie would not be, which means you will either love them in a little while from Plan B. They're so great. Um, Anthony Katagas, another great producer who really was the one on, on the boots on the ground. He was the one who helped us get it done. And you'll see it was not, no mean feat. The jungle is pretty tough. Uh, Dale Johnson, without whom none of us would be here. Uh, Mr. Brad Pitt, who uh, I, I know you thought that that was me, for, that was him first, but come on, but uh, he's not here. Uh, Mark Butan, Glenn Murray, Julie May, Mark Huffam, Felipe Aljure, who's great, Mr. our Colombian producer. And you know, Doug Torres, is Doug Torres here? My assistant director. The assistant director, you have no idea how important that is. That's a, that's a tough job. That's the guy who keeps the set running. I, I can hide in the air conditioned trailer. No air conditioned trailer. But I, I like to say that I hide in the air conditioned trailer, and he does all the grunt work. Uh, Jason Ropel, Head Hope, Bob Burney, and Andrew Carpen. Uh, Mr. Ropel, Mr. Ropel, Mr. Birdie from Amazon, who uh, allowed me to screen the film here, so thank, thanks to them. Uh, Andrew Carpen from Bleecker Street was going to release this darn thing in 900 months from now. Uh, and uh, that's, I think, it, finally. I hope you don't hate it. Thank you for coming, and have a very nice time.